Well, the bright side of a Valentine's Day snowstorm is that a lot of you likely have fresh flowers in your homes right now. However, getting those flowers delivered to coordination along with careful driving and walking too. Eyewitness News reporter Brian Yocono continues our team coverage from the newsroom. The owner of Carousel of Flowers and Gifts in East Providence was up at 3 o'clock this morning to begin a battle against the clock and the conditions. Carefully and with trained eyes, the women behind the flowers at Carousel of Flowers and Gifts put the final touches on arrangements. They've already made dozens. We're trying to rush to get everything delivered um, before the snow. And because of that, we've had to stop taking new orders for um, delivery today. As those deliveries head out the door, they need special attention in such cold temperatures. If we leave them on their porch, they would die. So it, it's a huge impact. It, it really big impact. It, it's very difficult for our drivers because they, they'll end up not being to, able to deliver something because someone's not home. I tagged along with Brianna Gilbert, who is tasked with getting those deliveries in the right hands, walking through snow and ice and around snowbanks. After, of course, she finds somewhere to park. Some struggles, snow maybe, getting around up to the steps. <laughs> I would do it though. It's just the smile is worth it. If they're happy, the smile is worth it. <laughs> She'll spend her day restocking her SUV with arrangements and hitting the streets. This is for you, ma'am. Thank you. You're welcome. With a watchful eye on the clock. It's important to get in before the snow, the snow storms. No one really wants to go out. Their hands freeze, you know, the flowers freeze. According to the National Retail Federation, Americans plan to spend $2.1 billion on flowers alone this year. The average shopper also expected to spend roughly $9 more on gifts overall this year compared to the last year. In the newsroom, Brian Yacono, Eyewitness News. And meteorologist T.J. Del Santa will be back in just a few minutes with his full future cast for up to the minute details on this snowstorm. You can also head to our website, WPRI.com. And if you happen to lose power, of course, we certainly hope you don't. You can stream our newscasts live on your smartphone or tablet with the WPRI.com app. And we want to see how the snow is looking in your neck of the woods. You can email us pictures and videos to report it at WPRI.com or on our app by clicking on the report it button.